Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews. Today I have another wild turkey. This is wild turkey bourbon. Uh, so this is 40.5% alcohol or 81 proof. Um, I'm going to read some stuff off the whiskey jug. Um, so on the whiskey jug, they gave it a score of an 81. So I'm going to go for the pour on this. So on the nose, <coughs> let me just pour this real fast. Okay, so on the nose on this, it's supposed to be spice. Caramel, vanilla, oak, orange zest, and corn. So let me see what I can get on this. Uh, real heavy on the caramel. Maybe even a little bit of like a rye spice, maybe a bourbon spice. I'm guessing there's a little bit of rye in the mash bill. Um, one second, sorry, this phone keeps locking. Um, so you get a nice oak oak smell in the background you can tell it's been <clears throat> excuse me you can tell it's been aged um, I believe this has been aged so it says on the back of it I'm gonna read it because it actually says the age demon right here expertly crafted by Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame uh, famer Eddie Russell wild turkey stands above every other whiskey in its category we age our bourbon longer up to five to eight years so it is aged five to eight years so you get that nice oak smell from that um, and number four, alligator char, American oak barrels. Sure, this takes time, but that's why it's cut above the rest. Um, it says, with notes of sweet vanilla, pear, and hints of spice, wild turkey finishes with a flavor that is full and rich when they're enjoyed straight or with a mixer. So, um, I'll go for another nose on this. I don't get much of the corn. Um, so on the nose on this, you do get that nice uh, orange zest, kind of like an orange peel. Um, Read some notes on the taste. Um, it says taste, spice, cinnamon, caramel, corn, and vanilla wafers. So, um, it's actually pretty smooth. Um, what I've noticed with wild turkey is a lot of their flavors are like really soft, kind of like the rye. The rye had a nice soft rye, and it wasn't like a kick in the face. And this is kind of the same. This is kind of like bourbon. Uh, like a nice soft bourbon caramel um, you get that nice bourbon spice a little bit of cinnamon it's heavy on the caramel um, not too much on the corn um, and it kind of creates a nice uh, nilla wafer as they say um, on the finish it says long uh, corn caramel wood and alcohol so it does kind of have like a little bit of alcohol bite on the finish, but it's not enough to turn you away. Um, so the finish kind of starts with caramel, ends with caramel, um, as I noticed in the last bourbon, um, the Rebel Yell bourbon that me and my father just uh, reviewed. Um, you kind of get that nice oaky wood taste in the finish. Um, like I said, that's probably brought out by those nice bourbon barrels. Um, and for a rating on this, um, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Um, the price on this is great. It's only nineteen dollars for a seven fifty. Um, but yeah, I think a seven and a half is fair. Um, with that being said, it's kind of because it has that little bit of an alcohol bite, but it's definitely a good bourbon for the price. Um, definitely one of the best bourbons you can get for this price. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If there's any other liquor or beers you'd like to see on my channel, leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.